The Chamber Music Tours are four days where student chamber ensembles are performing in high schools in New Hampshire. All right, let's give our UNH octet a wonderful round of applause and let them perform. Some of it is it's to promote chamber music and some of it is to give the students a, a kind of a ready audience, an enthusiastic audience. Some of it is to show the high school students, especially in the state, that chamber music is a great activity, lots of fun. And some of it is just to bring the music department into the state more. The students from college are seeing where they came from. And I'm really enjoying watching how they are relating to the students. They want to tell them that they're doing exactly what they wanted to do, and they're very happy. I play in a woodwind quintet as well, and then in all of our big ensembles, orchestra, um, wind symphony, and I used to sing on campus too, so it's, there's just a lot more opportunities when you get to college. Is the orchestra audition in, or is it open? They've had a lot of questions for us about what we do and what the university is like. Are you allowed to practice in the dorms? Uh, I don't think there's a rule against it. There's quiet hours at night, you know, like you can't bump music or anything. A lot of the groups on campus um, are self-formed. I was actually part of a woodwind quartet and we formed ourselves, we would rehearse on our own. In the university we have three concert bands, an orchestra, um, there's a jazz, two jazz bands. It's a wonderful thing to have the band come to the school so that we can see what it's like to have college level music. How that differs and how it's similar to high school music. And see some options for the future. Music's a lifelong journey and you don't have to stop in high school. You can make music for your entire life. This shows that, that the next step after high school could be college.